Right, let's get straight into it. I'm creating my needle felted ball from coral wool, which you can then cover in a coloured wool to make whatever you want, maybe create a Christmas bauble. The first thing to remember when gauging how much coral wool to use is that you can easily add more, but you can't take away wool once you've started creating the felted ball. To get an idea of the size of the finished needle felted ball that you'll end up with, gather the wool tightly into a ball. Remember that once needle felted, this wool will reduce in size by about a third. Here I realised it looked a bit small, so I added a bit more and re-rolled it. Have your wool laid out in a roundish, evenly thick layer. Start pulling sections of the wool inwards to the centre, then pull the last bit over the top, covering all the other ends. This will help reduce lumps and bumps, and you'll end up with a rough ball shape. Then use a medium needle or a multi-needle tool if you have one. Start to needle felt all over, being careful not to stab yourself. Keep your fingers in view at all times. If your rolled wool is slightly cylinder shaped as mine is here, pay attention to the ends of the cylinder and make sure you felt those inwards towards the middle of the wool so that it becomes rounder. If you're finding this helpful, it would really make my day if you'd click the like button. And you could subscribe as well if you'd like to see more like this. Anyway, while stabbing, make sure your needle is angled in towards the centre of the ball, removing the needle in the same direction as you enter so that you don't break the needle. You don't need to stab too deeply. While you're doing this, you're looking to stab any areas that are sticking out or any areas that make the ball look a funny shape. Can you see how I'm constantly rotating it and stabbing it all round? It helps make it a nice round shape. I needle felted this ball for about 10 minutes until it was fairly firm. My finished ball is 3.7 centimetres or one and a half inches in diameter but you can make yours whatever size you want. If you want to transform this ball into a cute Robin Christmas bauble, then watch my tutorial on doing that here. Thanks for watching.